Alright, welcome back to more of uh, Ocarina of Power. And now that we've pretty much already broken this whole quest, we have nine hearts and a, got a red ring and a master sword already. And time to start making a pretty much a mockery of things. Uh, first, uh, we'll take a look in here. Technically, yeah, you're supposed to take a look in here. Got some invisible enemies to deal with. Oh, you get a pendant in here. And that money you have to come back for later. So may as well just go start cleaning up levels. Yeah, because I've really only done three levels and barely scratched level four. So the next few levels are pretty much going to be an absolute joke. So I pretty much I should be able to get at least two levels done in this part, maybe even three. Now the level six is a little bit longer to deal with. And we'll see how I do after finishing level five. So in this room, you know, you can try pushing all the blocks and you're not going to get anywhere. So even if the statues are firing at you, you can still... still may need to shoot them just to reveal passages. And that kind of gives you a clue there. This wall looks a little suspicious now. I 
remember every level has a piece of heart in it, and some of these levels you have to find some of these hidden rooms to get to the pieces of heart. So you don't have to be this overpowered to finish these levels. It's simple enough. Just finish them on your initial pass through this place. Here we have another Goma, just the blue one this time, which really is no different. Fight it the same way. I mean, the traps don't really factor in that much at all because you don't really need that much space to fight it. Essentially, it's the same boss as level 3. And I think level 3 was the Goma. Alright, so after picking off uh, level 4, and we've got plenty of time, so at least take out level 5. And I'll have to see, maybe I'll. I'm not sure about level 6, because that might. That's gonna take probably as long as 4 and 5 put together, actually. Just more rooms to explore. I kind of always forget which way. It is to level 5, you actually have to go around the outside. Well, yeah, there's no letter in this game, it's just enemy bait. And you really don't need this, I think, until level 9. I mean, we'll just get it because we don't want to really have anything to spend money on at this point. I 
think these guys would be invisible. Not that that's really that big an issue now, I mean, <laughs> so well equipped that doesn't even matter. Not so tough when they're down in one hit. And kind of take a guess what you're gonna find in this place. To be a little bit careful of getting a clock in this room, you can actually get stuck because if a pole's voice is in the corner, you can't reach them. In this case, I would kind of prefer the clocks only being five seconds. Now, because that kind of gets around that problem as a whole. This is just to pick up that one key. And again, you didn't really need to close the door going up, because again, if you get a clock, you're stuck. Not luckily you'll be able to reach the pole's voice. So here's the raft. Uh, need that to. Well, actually, these little square tiles are actually raft points. Usually, I see just the typical. like the wooden planks. Um, here, they actually use a squares. Almost looks like warp points or something. Now, there is a room above, I think it looks like it, um, but actually there's nothing up there, so I think that was just an error on the, in terms of like just the map design, I forgot to take that room off, and there's really nothing up there. So I did bug me for a little bit, I was thinking there was like a heart piece up there or something, but it's actually nothing up there. Good thing for Master Sword, because if you had a white sword, I probably would have just lost my magic shield right there. Pretty much can't lose your magic shield now because you can take them out at least at worst three hits with the sword beams, but the sword itself is only two. And normally this patch would be a little bit intimidating, but Master Sword is just kind of a joke now.
Otherwise, the hammer is a satisfactory option. Six. Um, I mean, it's probably gonna take me at least another 10 15 minutes. I mean, I easily can get through it, no sweat. This might make this part stretch out a little bit. Uh, so I'll probably just spare that for the next part and go through at least level six and maybe level seven, so depending on how long they take. Alright, see you guys later.